this is Dr. Chloe, and welcome to another episode of me teaching you how to make games on Scratch Jr. Alright, let's get started, guys. So, okay, the first three episodes, we made a jump game, bubble pop, and get the basketball. Today, we're gonna make an Among Us imposter game, okay? So, we're going to try to find the Among Us imposter so the first thing we're gonna do is say goodbye to this cat by clicking on it for a long time and pressing x and then we're going to draw an among us character i mean there's many ways to do this so one way is to just draw it like this and it's a little squiggly but you know, that's okay. You can do it like that. If you want it to look a little bit more like the characters, here's a way that I want to show you. So make a circle first. And then click on this arrow on the right. And then click on the circle. And you're going to make a dot right in between these two here. And another one right in between these two here. I know it looks really funny, guys. But bear with me, okay? So now click on the dot on the bottom. And then you're going to pull it up like this. And then you're going to take this dot. And you're going to pull it down. And you're also going to take this dot. And you're going to pull it down. And there you go. That looks more like... Um, the shape and then we're gonna take the circle tool again and we're going to make the goggles and then we're also going to make the little like backpack for the among us character um so i have this circle again looks kind of weird so click on it and then make another dot and then attach it to this character and just pull it a little tight and maybe add another dot and then just try to reshape it until you're happy there's no real right or wrong answer here it's really about what you want and then i'm gonna take the paint bucket tool and i'm going to color in everything so this is gonna be um blue and then red and red and then i'm gonna call this among us among us one okay and all right let's give it a background okay um let's make them go in space um or maybe they should be on the moon actually okay they're gonna be on the moon so here's one and we're gonna make another one. So we're gonna click on the one we just drew. And then we're gonna click on paint brush. And all we're gonna do is change up the color, really. Okay, so we're gonna make an orange Among Us. And we're gonna make that Among Us 2. Oopsies. Among, oops. Among Us 2. Okay. And then um, we can have another one. Okay, we're going to click this. And click the paintbrush. And again, we can just make another color. And this one, we can call it Among Us 3. Okay. Alright. And... I mean, you can have as many as you want, really, but I'm just gonna have three. Um, just because it looks like it's pretty crowded already. So, basically, that is gonna be the first page. Um, and 
Um, basically, you're gonna have to guess which one is the imposter. So you're just gonna select one that's gonna be the imposter. It's totally, totally up to you. I'm gonna choose the orange one just because I feel like it. Um, but that's really up to you, okay? Um, so first of all, I'm gonna make these guys just like move around randomly. So here we go with this red one. I'm gonna make make it go to the right maybe i'll repeat that four times and then make it go to the left and maybe i'll just make that five times so when you click on the green flag it will look like this and then um the orange one Maybe we can do something similar. So just drag this to the orange one and drag this to the yellow one. And they'll all have the same code. So let's t click. And yes, they're all moving. Um, and they're kind of stopping, but we want them to continue moving. So um, I'm just going to add a repeat forever block here. And also for the orange one. Um, and also for the yellow one, but I want to move slightly differently, actually. So for yellow, I'm gonna actually switch around the blocks. So we've got uh, something kind of opposite going on. And also for the orange one, maybe it will just move to the right and right again. And maybe I'll just add a speed, like make it go fast. And the yellow one, maybe it can go medium. And the red one, it can move kind of slowly. So it's all kind of different. So let's see what that's like. Okay, so they're all kind of moving different speeds and in different directions, which makes it look a bit more interesting, right? Okay, so we, now that we have all the characters moving, it's time to program what happens when you click each of the characters. So as I told you, I have decided that the orange among us is the imposter, okay? So let's program that first. So say goodbye to the cat. Um, this time I'm going to have the space background and then i'm just gonna have the orange among us here and i'm gonna make it like float in space so when the green flag is clicked let's make it um, like maybe what's this this is turn right and move right and if we do that forever it's gonna go like this Hmm, I wish it was a little bit smoother. Dr. Kali, is there any way to make it smoother? Actually, thanks for asking. There is. So instead of having this in one line of code, you can have another green flag and split this up. So we can have the right here, and then we can have turning here. And what you'll notice It'll be much smoother. Isn't that cool? And you can add a bunch of other stuff too. Like remember we used grow and shrink in the other games? You can try that too. Um, and then see what happens. Um, it's like moving up and down. Um, but actually that's kind of slowing it down as well. So I actually want that to be separate. Okay, so let's put this here. And then let's put this here. And then here we go. Okay, so that's the page for the orange among us. So, okay, that's great. Um, so let's see what we have here. So what we're going to do is we're going to program this. So when you click on the orange among us, it will go to this page. So let's code that. So when you click on the 
orange. Make sure you're selecting that orange among us if you're doing the same thing as me. When you are tapping on that, let's go to the second scene, okay? Let's see if that works. Okay, when I click on yellow, nothing happens. When I click on the red one, nothing happens. But when I click on the orange one, I go to this page. Awesome! So here, let's add some text. So here, I'm gonna write... Um, I'm gonna say... Orange was the imposter. Okay. Oh, you can't see that. So let's make that font white. And here we go. One more time. Click on orange. Orange was the imposter. Okay, great. Well, now we have to code it. So we tell the players that when you click on yellow and red, those were not the imposters. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create two more pages. Okay. And this one again, we don't need the cat. And let's just add this. I don't know. It doesn't have to be that, right? You can be creative too. We'll have a, like a lake. Okay. And then another scene. This one... Um, could be another scene too. How about like... What's this? Beach night. Okay. Alright. So we've got beach night and the lake. So orange was the imposter. Um, and then... We want to say red was not the imposter and yellow was not the imposter. Okay, so I think we can use some of this code from this page. So if you drag this orange imposter from second page to third one, do you see that? It's on the third page. And you can do the same thing for the fourth page. So you can drag this orange imposter to the fourth page. And there you go. But wait a minute, this has to be a different color. So that's okay. So you just need to change it. Okay, so let's just change this one to yellow. And this one to red. And this way you can use the code from all of the um, previous pages. And we just need to change the text. So here we'll say yellow was not the imposter. Okay. And remember we changed the color of the font. Oh, it's a bit too big now. So let's make that smaller. Okay. And here too, red was not the imposter change it to white and make it smaller here we go so now that we have this page and also this page coded we just need to go back to the first page and make sure that it links to pages three and four so when you click when you or tap on the red imposter we want to go to the fourth scene. And when you click or tap on the yellow imposter, we want to go to the third scene. Okay. I think we're almost done. So let's check it out. Okay, we've got all these Among Us characters. Let's click on yellow. Oh, yellow was not the imposter. Okay. Well, that... That's good. Okay, that's working well. Let's go back to the first page and try again. Yellow. Yellow was not the imposter. Okay, let's try again. Orange. Orange was the imposter. There you go. So all of that is working really well. So if you want to add details, you can. For example, here you might want to write like Among Us. Um, just like the actual game. So you can write like, uh, among, among us. Okay. 
and then you can add that so it's there um and what else can you do you could also add like play again how about a play again button so you could you could um just like make a little um little rectangle and then here you could write play again oops play again and then um you can add that so when someone clicks on the play again button this is the second scene okay it can go we can go back to the first scene so if we're here and click on play again we'll be able to play again and select again and we want this play again button to be in all of the uh, second third and fourth scenes so let's drag this oopsies not like that um we want to drag it to the third and drag it to the fourth pages and let's take it from the top again okay so we play it and then we select red oh red was not the imposter so we can play again um it was it yellow yellow was not the imposter let's play again okay orange orange was the imposter okay there we go well there you have it guys that is basically how to create among us on scratch jr i hope you guys liked this episode if you did make sure you click on the like button and subscribe to otia and i'll see you next time for another episode of me dr kali showing you how to create games on scratch jr all right thanks guys have a wonderful day Bye-bye!